Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to use a Droyo for creating a class diagram. Let's begin. Creating a class diagram in Droyo is a simple process that is a great way to visualize the structure of your system using UML or Unified Modeling Language. So, once you open the diagrams.net, I want you to click the start button. You would be forwarded in this section we're in. You will be asked, where do you want to save your diagrams? All right. You have the cloud options such as Google Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox, GitHub, or GitLab. Or you can also use your device or your computer. And then, now you will be forwarded to a new page wherein if you're working with multiple freelancers or within your client and your client already has an existing file for the class diagram that you just have to modify or edit just click this section but if you don't click the click of this option that says create new diagram All right and then from here you have the rename the whole file and then if you notice there is also an option that says class diagram all right it's very easy you don't have to look forward but you also have this option wherein if you cover to the smart template and you type in something like class diagram And then go to the diagram type. If you click the class diagram and click the generate button, you would notice that it would give you a more interactive options for you. You see that? And from here, just click the create template. It's very easy. Just wait for it while things is being loaded. All right. There you go. So you have now this class diagram. All right. From here, now, once it's loaded, you see you can add the class shapes for the class representation, all right? To represent the class, use the class shape right here. So type in class, we will see what we got from here, all right? So for example, this one right here, you can put in class one, um, class, name, class name, and a lot more. Now, I'm going to put in, for example, uh, On the right side panel, you see you have an option to change the uh, styling. For example, we're going to be choosing a different color. This one. This one has a different one as well. And you can put a different color for everything that you wanted here. Okay, so you're not limited. Now, with that being said, we can also add in... For example, uh, class components, you can put in the class name, attributes, and methods, all right? Then I'm going to add an image here from my device to make it the uh, class diagram interactive. Okay, so that's that. I'm going uh, to make sure everything is smooth. Now, to add attributes and methods inside the class shape right here, you have uh, three sections, all right? For example, you can click inside to add methods like a uh, name, string, plus the uh, plus sign right here to indicate that the method is public. All right. For example, you can put in a class name, attributes, and methods. And from here, you might want to add the relationships between classes. By doing so, type in connector on the search shape. For example, we're going to be choosing this one right here. You can drag it here so they can have a relationship. You see that? You can also drag something like this right here from the going to this. And then, of course, you can also use this one right here. That leads to this section. And one is going to be something like an arrow. Arrow pointing to this, to the image going to this. And again, you, all, you need to align and distribute the uh, tools in the left side. Once you're happy with that, 
Again, you can customize the appearance of the classes representing the format panel on the side right here. For example, this, I'm going to choose a different color. Maybe something like this or this one right here. Kind of like um, that. Once you are happy with this, click the export button. Or the save. Basically, uh, draw you automatically saves your work. But it pays to check if you click the file and click the save button. And then we can export this amazing class diagram that we have created by choosing this option you can choose from the following options such as png jpeg web psvg for example we're going to be choosing svg you can put in a zoom if it's going to be a hundred percent or like around a zoom level that you wanted you can also add in a border width if you want to click the size diagram or the whole page you can choose that and the uh, transparent background if you want to have an appearance of a light dark and automatic we're going to click with the automatic. You can add in shadows, embed images, fonts. Is it going to be for the all, all pages or current page? Click the export. You will be asked, where do you want to save your class diagram? Is it going to be on your storage options such as Google Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox, GitHub, or GitLab? Or you can save it to your computer. Click the download button. I'm going to click on save. And then once you're happy, if you have a website such as Powered by Squarespace or WordPress, you might want to click the pu publish link option because what will happen is if you click the create button this is going to be a link that you can embed on different websites or platforms if you want to preview that you have an option to do it you'll be forwarded to a new page we're in this is going to be the uh, preview of the embedded link now at the bottom while at it if you want to create a printed copy you can do that you can choose to a uh, page of view crop and fit and click the print option all right and then when i close on that you also have an option to click the embed option as well seemingly if it's too large it's okay just go to the share button on the upper right corner which is going to be helpful if you're working with multiple freelancers and maybe you're the client because for complex diagrams you can use layers to separate different sections or groups of classes for example if you're going to be working with modules or other activities because diagrams.net offers uml templates that include basic class diagrams to help you get started all right and of course by following all these steps you can create a professional class diagram in this platform Royal, to visually represent the structure of your system and its classes and again you also have the option to customize the appearance of the classes and relationships in this diagram that you have created that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next one